What's up guys, Step Sound, and welcome back to part 8 of Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. We are on to the fourth case, and I believe there's five cases in the game. So we're getting into it now, we're getting into the depths of the game. I think it came out yesterday, was it? I think it came out yesterday, but we've had it longer than that, so... We're gonna jump into case four here, this is called... So she will blame you Bro for Alice's Something department. in chains. Is that what you want? No, I certainly... It's as Kate said, I... I always do the wrong thing. By the way, we already saw this part at the end of the stream, but, um... But... She's concerned. Now look here. I have to replay it right I'll now. It's, it's literally only a little bit, though. Once we're back at Baker Street. Right here. Cabby, why have we stopped? The road to the square is blocked, sir. Why? There's been a bad road accident. Oh, splendid. Shit's about to get real, guys. There may be injured who need help. Just maybe, man. He has stopped breathing. There's no heartbeat. His pupils are constricted, but they are moving. He is still alive. I must act quickly to save him. Oh, this is awesome. Come on, come on, man. Thank goodness. This man will live. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Holmes, don't just stand there. Do something. Please move to a safer area, sir. Over here! I would have died if not for you. You gotta fucking know that I saved your life, asshole. No oh, shitty is a trap like dude, come on. No visible wounds, not injured. Come on, let's get this guy out. Let's get this guy out. This is crazy. She's getting really Charlie Holmes right now. Do we feel like it make a decision on who we're gonna save right now? Get it done, Sherlock! Come on, damn it, come on. Over here. I thought I saved you already, dude. The hell, he just disappeared. Oh, I have to drag him out of the way, I see. Don't worry, I'm okay. There are 
are no wounds or injuries. I'd better call for Watson. Go help that guy. I see no visible injuries. Perhaps I could use a Maria. Oh, my head. Shoulder. I'm a doctor. Will you allow me to look at your shoulder? I think there's more important things right now, dude. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, shit. How do we do this? <laughs> There you go. Got it. Thank you for your help. Perhaps Holmes will find a way to free this pond. Somebody! Please help me. My leg. My name is Dr. Watson. Let me examine you. Ah, it hurts! Somebody! There's some extreme bru- No bones appear to be broken. I think that an improvised bandage will do for now. One moment, and I'll fetch what I need. Okay. Now, let me apply the bandage. Somebody! How do I apply this bandage? Uh, hello? You won't let me do it. Oh. Wants me to pick up this rope. I need something else besides the rope. No. Somebody! I need something else. But... All right, literally, dude, shut up. Somebody. That guy's screaming out for his life while we're just here bandaging up this dude with a sore leg. Probably not the best option, but whatever. Wow, that's a great bandage right there. Two planks of wood. So let's switch to goddamn. All right, we got that guy out, so it's all it's all good. Now we need to go over and help this guy real quick. We gotta help him. Can cut the scaffolding. Really? It's gonna take a while now. Probably should have done this one first. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Poor old horsey. Wow, we just chopped a piece of wood off on the horse's head. It's kind of fucked up, honestly. But what are you gonna do? Somebody! Yeah, I'm trying to help you, dude. No, we saved everyone, right? Thanks for your help. I think we saved everyone. That was fucking crazy, Jesus. Shit got real all of a sudden. We fucking done this, dude. Did we lose one guy? Did one guy die? Holmes, it appears the police have arrested someone. Perhaps it is the person responsible for this disaster. Perhaps not. Save as many people as possible. Discover what caused the accident. Yes, yes. Oh, what a mess. A puddle of water and electricity. A deadly combination. So it's fucking electrified. That's what fucked the horses. A puddle of water and electricity. A deadly combination. Let me go! You're talking nonsense! Insulting a police constable, eh? That's quite enough. What's happening here, constable? Mr. Holmes, 
This gentleman here is the fellow who built the scaffolding which collapsed and caused this accident. That ain't true. How were you hurt? This hammer hit me on the leg. How? It flew out from the scaffolding I put up. When the damn thing collapsed, the hammer flew out and coshed me you leg. You were standing over there at the time. Oh, aye. Yeah, that's right. So it would not have been possible for him to bring the scaffolding down, Constable? Perhaps it was poorly constructed. Oh, right. Yes, of course. And what made it fall? Perhaps it was you, waving around that rotten stick of yours. You'll wind up getting a taste of it if you carry on like this. One moment, Constable. The scaffolding here has been entirely dislodged. It is unlikely that this disaster could have been the fault of this gentleman. Allow me to inspect the area. And if you could possibly be of use, close off the surrounding section. Do not grant anyone access, nor allow them to leave. Is that quite clear? Absolutely, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Holmes getting fucking this serious right is now. a little unusual. I need to concentrate on the details. I must include all the participants in the accident sequence. Wait, what? Uh, it won't let me do anything here. Oh, we have to, like, determine the elements. My poor leg. Yes, but how do I actually, like... Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. There was an explosion, and my horse startled and threw me back against those wardrobes. Okay, that's one. The pumpkins fell here after the sprung cart collided. Sorry. Good day to you, sir. Would you mind answering some questions? I'm investigating this accident. Are you the driver of this cart? Yeah. I was transporting vegetables from my farm to the London market. What can you tell me about the accident? I don't know. There was a collision. I felt the ground. I come over all dizzy. What did you collide with? Um, that contraption up in front of me. He stopped all of a sudden and I tried to avoid him, but I wasn't quick enough. Do you have any idea what might have caused this cab to stop so sharply? No, no idea. Okay. An old sprung cart. A pot. The old gas lamps in this square have been upgraded to electricity. A puddle of water and electricity. A deadly combination. Ooh. I won't be able to release it with my bare hands. That's it. Now the water should not be electrified no longer. It is not. This man's incredibly this dead. Cab was involved in this tragic accident. This man's magically very, very dead. This is an absolute disaster. You're right, bro. You're right. Okay, so how, what do we got so far? See, we got the horse going in there. The fruit coming off. Okay, let's have a look in the middle of the middle of the thing then. This carriage was struck by the scaffold when it fell. This mechanism played a part of the accident, I'm sure of it. How's that not an element found then? You fool. Celebratory bunting. This cab hit the scaffold and caused it to fall. Oh wait, we got us. We got something going on here. Shit. Okay, I think I think I got it. Yeah, we got it. That's it. Okay, wow, something went way over here and stuck into the goddamn thing over here. My 
whole leg. The axe was catapulted by the scaffold and it landed here. Mr. Holmes? What do you make of this accident, Holmes? Pretty bad, dude. Okay, does that axe have anything to do with this then? Must do, right? A common fate. An uncommon location. Jesus, all these horses are fucking dead. It's fucked up, dude. A dead driver. Another victim of the explosion. I mean, it's okay for the people to be dead, but these horses this being horse dead is fucked up. This blinded by the flag, causing it to bolt into the window. The overturned lamps may well have caused the fire and explosion. Mm-hmm. Celebratory bunting. Anything else over here? This jaunting car would be capable of traveling at great speed. No, you can't. Go away. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? No, you can't. Go away. Oh, this guy's a jerk. You're a real asshole, huh? Okay, let's have a look. We got all that coming in there. And, uh... I'm guessing the rest of it's like down by that axe. That's what I'm guessing. Oh wait. Something. This cab was set on fire by the explosion at the lamp shop. The driver is dead. He was killed by the explosion. Yes. Yes he was. Those wardrobes fell like dominoes. But that's what knocked the lamp post over. And that knocked this into this. Which electrified this. And then the horse fell. But how did all of this happen then? We only got one more clue now. Here we go. Rope holding the bunting was torn apart, a large section of it is now missing. That's all the elements, my friends. We got it done. Elements found 13 I to 13. Information about this accident. Now let's recreate the sequence of events. Okay. All right. So what happens is Oh, that horse crashes into this horse. Oh, no. Wait, what are we supposed to do here? Oh, we're supposed to order it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so let's reset this. I think I know what it is now. Let's go with this first, because that's... He slipped in the water, I guess, the horse, right? I would have thought maybe the electro... And then that went like that. And then this... Knifed over to this. Which then this motherfucker was running into that while alongside this guy. I shouldn't do the uh, the whole sequence first, right? And then this collapsed, which then forced this horsey to collapse. But then that other horsey ran into this and hit this horsey down, which is what caused this guy to swerve. Because that's what I was wondering, why that guy swerved in the first place. But then maybe knocked down and then it killed these souls. So I'm... Thinking that's maybe it. I'm not quite sure. Let's check. Come on, this is my third attempt now. I'll probably edit that's out the it? first two. Oh, that's it. That's it. Sweet. We got it. The technical cab sudden halt caused this disaster, but the lamppost fell down afterwards. So why did the cab stop? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it must have been because of the water. A horse must have slipped or something. What do you make of this accident, Holmes? It's pretty sick, man. Okay, we have to discover what could have caused it to stop. It must have just been the water, right? Or maybe it's wheels? Yeah, see There's the water. This thing is leaking this out water. Has been turned. So that must have been the cause of the horse slipping or something? I don't know. Oh. He has a neck tattoo? Guilty. That's a sick tattoo, a tattoo, actually. 
What is that? This man was killed by electricity, as shown by the distinct mark on his head. Electric, can you feel that electricity, guys? This man was armed with a revolver. Webley, I suspect. Right. How about this guy? Also a dog tattoo, I think. Yep. Oh, this wasn't just a... Random target. These guys were... Definitely, definitely premeditatedly murdered. Rasco. Rasco. Yes, I know him. He's a small-time local criminal. Is he now? Some kind of solvent. A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. What good is that to us? This cap was painted recently. There is some text underneath the paint here. Could be important. I'll need to find a way to remove this fresh paint. Well, we could just use the solvent that we just saw, I'm guessing. Yes. Yes. Genius. Okay. Can be something to do with Roscoe or something, is it? Railways? Underground railways? Underground electric rail rail I can't speak. Railways, I was about to call it. You don't pronounce your fucking R's like that, dude. Come on. Oh, there's more here. Company of London. Hmm. All right. Is do we have to do it all? Like, come on. Underground Electric Railways Company of London. Hmm. Interesting. What a bloody carnage. Yep. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Please, not now. I've not seen a traffic accident like this before. Mr. Holmes? You guys got anything My for me? poor leg. How about you, bro? You got anything to say? This is an absolute disaster. What's that got to do with anything? Maybe some of the other carriages have um, have that written on them or something? I don't know. Are we missing something in here? Yes, we Pneumatic are. Hammer. Mud. Oof. Smells bad. Water. Something in the puddle. Ah. Wire. You sons of bitches. There is some electrical wiring here beneath the manhole. Oh, it's in here. <laughs> Who's here? Knock fucking no oh my god. This is the most complicated thing I've ever seen. A double lock may be used in the same way as a single lock. How does that possibly make sense, dude? Ok, 
Okay, wait. Nope. There's no space for this lockpick. There's no space for this lockpick. There's no space for this lockpick. Well, what fucking space There's is no there, lockpick? There's no space lock for this lockpick. Right. There's no space for this lockpick. Well, so four by three is the only one we can do. There's no space for this lockpick. Oh, we have to remove this one first, that's why. Okay, we need uh, a shorter front one and a longer back one. There you go. And now we need, like... This shouldn't be too difficult, we just need a pretty much even one. Evenish, maybe four three. Not what I meant to do. How do I switch it to the other lock, dude? This is never like. Oh, that do doesn't matter. We got it though. That was actually not that hard. Okay, who the hell's in here? An open bottle of cheap wine. A single glass containing traces of alcohol. Who did it? I've not seen such a device before. Who did it? So we gotta get this up. That starts it off. This one's green. What other one is green? Mesa red. That makes that one red somehow. How the fuck that makes sense? That does nothing. Okay, so that switches it, I see. That switches which one is green and red, though. How does that make sense? Ah, I see. We just need one of them to be on at the same time. No. Okay. Oh, that's how you got it. You just have to have the, electrical the other one off while the other the one's red. I see. Came from here. I see, I see. Okay, I'm done. Goddamn smoking ladies. I can see the technical cab very well from here. Completed. Share your conclusion with the constable. Right, right. I think we're actually going to end this part here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit a big like. We'll be back for more Sherlock Holmes, the devil's daughter, in the very near future. Hopefully you guys will join me for it, and... Peace out.